This is Glass Board Learning. I'm Mr. Chen. Let's do some math. Here are the problems for today. I want you to pause the video and try them out yourself first. Then press play so you can check your work and your answers with me. All right, let's do it. For number 13, we have 5,351 plus 1,730. When we want to add these two numbers together, it's pretty easy. All we have to do is add up and down. We have one plus zero, that's going to give you one. Five plus three, that's going to give you eight. 3 plus 7, that's going to give you 10, but since we can't squeeze in 10 right here, we're going to split it up and put the 0 here first, and put the 1 on top of the thousands value. Now we add up all three of these numbers, 1 plus 5 plus 1, that's going to give you 7. So your answer is going to be 7,081. Number 15 is a subtraction problem. We have 7,694 minus 5,232. Very similar to addition, we're going to subtract from top to bottom. 4 minus 2, that's going to give you 2. 9 minus 3, that's going to give you 6. 6 minus 2, that's going to give you 4. 7 minus 5, that's going to give you 2. So your answer is going to be 2,462. Number 19 is a multiplication question. It's 124 times 56. Whenever I have a multiplication question, I like to write it from top to bottom. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to multiply 6 times 4, which is 24. You're going to write the 4 here and write the 2 on top. Then you're going to multiply 6 times 2, that's 12, plus another 2, that's going to be 14. Write the 4 here. Place the 1 on top here, and then you're going to do the last one. 6 times 1, that's 6, plus another 1, that's going to give you 7. Now you're going to multiply 5 to the numbers on top. 5 times 4, that's going to be 20, but instead of putting the 0 here, we're going to leave a space here, and we're going to put the 0 here for 20, and then put a 2 on top there. 5 times 2, that's going to be 10, plus another 2 on top here, that's going to be 12. We'll write 2 here. Put a 1 here. And then 5 times 1, that's 5, plus another 1, that's going to be 6. I'm then going to add up these two numbers. 4 plus nothing, or 0, is just going to be 4. 4 plus 0 is 4 again. 7 plus 2, that's going to be 9. And 6. Just drop it down. So your answer is going to be 6,944. Number 38 says that a movie sold 879,575 tickets and that this movie was played in 755 theaters. We want to try to figure out how many tickets each theater sold. So as you can see, this is a dividing problem where this is the divisor and this number is the dividend. We're going to try to see how many times 755 goes into this number here. Let's see, 755 goes into 879 one time. 1 times 755 is 755. We can now subtract. 9 minus 5 is 4. 7 minus 5 is 2. 8 minus 7 is 1. Drop down to 5. 755 goes into 1245 one time. 1 times 755, same thing, 755. We're going to subtract again. 5 minus 5 is 0. 4 minus 5, you can't do that, so you're going to borrow a 1 from the 2, making that 14. 14 minus 5 is 9. Uh, 1 minus 7, you can't do that either, so you're going to borrow from the 1 here. Make that into 11. 11 minus 7 equals to 4. Now we're going to drop down the 7. 755 goes into 4,907 six times. Six times five is 30. Six times five is 30, plus another three is 33. Six times seven is 42, plus another three. 45. 
We're going to subtract again. 7 minus 0 is 7. 0 minus 3, you can't do that. You're going to borrow again, making that into an 8. 10 minus 3 is 7. 8 minus 5 is 3. And then 4 minus 4, that's just 0. We're going to drop down to 5. 755 goes into 3,775 five times. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 5 is 25, plus another 2, it's 27. 5 times 7 is 35, plus another 2, that's 37. And when we subtract everything here, we get 0. So we have a remainder of 0. So our answer means that there were 1,165 tickets sold per theater. If you thought this tutorial was helpful, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest updates. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.